City spent about $2 million rehabbing the Jordan River this past year. The Jordan River is of symbolic and spiritual significance to many. Now moving to an ambitious project to clean up the Jordan River. As the Jordan River runs dry, scientists have made a bone-chilling discovery that defies all logic. He's coming back. The Jordan River, a once thriving waterway that's been the center of religious and cultural significance for centuries, has recently undergone a shocking transformation. After years of dwindling water levels, the river has finally dried up, leaving many to ponder the implications of this strange and unsettling event. While some rejoiced at the news, seeing it as a sign of the river's natural state returning, what emerged from the depths next was nothing short of bone chilling. As the water receded, a mysterious object appeared, its ghastly form sending shivers down the spines of those who witnessed it. The sight has led many to question what lies beneath the murky depths of the once thriving river. Could this strange object be a warning sign of something much more ominous? What will happen to the creatures that call the Jordan River home? And what does this shocking event mean for the future of this holy river? These are the questions that now linger in the minds of those affected by this unnerving occurrence. The scientists scramble to uncover the truth behind this mystifying phenomenon. Get ready for a wild ride as we dive into the latest developments at the Jordan River. The Jordan River, which is considered one of the world's most historic and significant waterways, has been rapidly declining over the past few decades. The river is approximately 251 kilometers long and flows through several countries, including Israel, Palestine, Jordan, and Syria. The region is known for its arid climate, and water scarcity has always been a significant concern for the local population. However, over the past few decades, the situation has worsened significantly. The Jordan River also holds great historical, cultural, and religious significance for many people. It is an important landmark in the Middle East, running through Israel, the West Bank, and Jordan. The river is mentioned frequently in religious texts such as the Bible and the Quran, and is believed by many to be the site where Jesus Christ was baptized. The Jordan River also supports a diverse ecosystem and is home to a variety of plant and animal species, including several endangered species. However, due to the drying up of the river and human activities such as damming and diversion, the ecosystem is facing severe degradation and loss of biodiversity. The dwindling water levels in the river also threaten the livelihoods of the people who depend on it for irrigation, fishing, and tourism. There have been several scary and unsettling discoveries made in the Jordan River, especially in recent times when the river has dried up to a significant extent. One of the most chilling discoveries was made when a massive sinkhole was discovered in the river's bed, measuring about 13 meters wide and 25 meters deep. The sinkhole was filled with sewage and trash, creating a horrific sight and a potential health hazard for anyone living nearby. Moreover, as the water level in the river continues to drop, several other dangerous and alarming things have been exposed. For instance, toxic waste from factories has been found in the river, posing a serious threat to the health and well-being of those who consume the water or come into contact with it. Additionally, as the river's flow slows down, the stagnant water creates a breeding ground for mosquitoes, increasing the risk of mosquito-borne diseases. Another startling discovery that has been made in the Jordan River is the presence of landmines in the riverbed, left over from the past conflicts in the region. As the river recedes, these deadly remnants of war become more accessible and pose a significant risk to anyone who may come into contact with them. There have been reports of ancient bones being discovered in the Jordan River, adding to the intrigue and mystery surrounding this once thriving waterway. It's believed that some of these bones may date back thousands of years could offer valuable insight into the history and evolution of the region. However, the discovery of these bones also raises questions about the impact of human activity on the river and the creatures that call it home. Some experts believe that the bones may have been washed downstream from burial sites, highlighting the need for better preservation and protection of important archaeological sites in the area. As previously described, the Jordan River holds immense religious significance in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. It is believed to be the site where Jesus Christ was baptized by John the Baptist and where the Israelites, under the leadership of Joshua, crossed into the Promised Land. The river has been a symbol of hope, renewal, and spiritual cleansing for thousands of years. However, in recent times, 
the river has been struggling to maintain its flow. The current situation has raised concerns about its religious significance. The drying up of the Jordan River has been interpreted by some religious scholars as a sign of the end times or an indication of impending disaster. Many religious texts, including the Bible and the Quran, contain prophecies about the end times and the destruction of the world. The drying up of the Jordan River is seen by some as a fulfillment of these prophecies and a warning that the end is near. In Christianity, the Jordan River is regarded as one of the most important religious sites in the world. The river is also associated with the story of the Israelites crossing the Jordan River into the Promised Land. For Christians, the drying up of the Jordan River is seen as a reminder of the biblical prophecies about the end times and the return of Jesus Christ. Similarly, in Judaism, the Jordan River is viewed as a holy site and a symbol of spiritual renewal. According to Jewish tradition, the Israelites crossed the Jordan River under the leadership of Joshua and entered the Promised Land. The river is also believed to be the site where Elijah the prophet ascended to heaven. The drying up of the Jordan River is seen by some Jews as a sign of divine punishment or a warning of impending disaster. In Islam, the Jordan River is known as the River of Allah and it is mentioned in the Quran as one of the most important rivers of paradise. The river is also associated with the story of Prophet Musa and his encounter with Pharaoh. The drying up of the Jordan River is viewed by some Muslims as a sign of the end times and a reminder of the importance of preserving the environment. Apart from its religious significance, the Jordan River is also a vital source of water for the region. It serves as a primary source of water for Israel, Jordan, and the Palestinian territories. However, the river has been under significant stress due to over-extraction of water, pollution, and climate change. The decline in water levels has not only impacted the environment, but also created political tensions between the countries that depend on it. Now, let's take a look at the key factors contributing to the depletion of the Jordan River. Climate change is one of the significant reasons for the depletion of the Jordan River. The region is already known for its aridity, and the changing climate has made it even worse. The temperature in the region has increased by almost 1.5 degrees Celsius over the past century, and this has caused an increase in evaporation rates. The rise in temperatures has also led to a decrease in precipitation, causing shortages of water in the Jordan River. Additionally, the surrounding country's water usage, particularly for agriculture and industry, has also contributed to the river's dying. For instance, the diversion of water from the river for irrigation purposes has increased over the years, leading to a decrease in water levels. In some instances, farmers and industries have been using more water than what is sustainable, leading to an over-extraction of water from the river. Climate change, along with human activities, has had a significant impact on the river's ecosystem. The decrease in water levels has led to the loss of habitats and ecosystems that depend on the river. The river was once a crucial source of fresh water for many animals, including rare fish species. The drying of the river has affected these species' breeding patterns and migration routes, putting them at risk of extinction. Over-extraction of water is another significant issue that has contributed to the drying of the Jordan River. The growing population in the region has led to increased demand for water, and the river has been unable to meet this demand. The lack of regulation in water usage has also resulted in the over-pumping of groundwater, which has further impacted the river's flow. In addition, agricultural practices such as the use of irrigation have also contributed to the depletion of the river's water supply. Construction of dams and diversions of water have further impacted the Jordan River's flow. Several dams have been constructed on the river and its tributaries, leading to a reduction in the water's flow downstream. The diversion of water for irrigation and hydropower purposes has also contributed to the drying up of the river. Pollution is another significant issue that has contributed to the Jordan River's decline. The river receives wastewater from settlements and industries, which is often untreated and heavily contaminated with pollutants. The pollutants have impacted the water quality, making it unsuitable for human consumption or use in agriculture. The pollution has also had a significant impact on the river's aquatic ecosystem, leading to the death of fish and other aquatic species. The Jordan River plays a significant role in the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The river serves as a vital water source for both Israelis and Palestinians, and its water allocation has been a point of contention between the two sides for decades. Israel has been diverting water from the Jordan River since the 1950s to support its growing population and agricultural needs. As a result, 
the river's flow has decreased significantly, leading to a drop in water levels and the drying up of parts of the river. The Palestinian territories, on the other hand, rely heavily on the Jordan River as their primary source of fresh water. However, due to Israel's diversion of the river's water, Palestinians face water scarcity and are often subjected to water rationing and shortages. Moreover, the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict has hindered any efforts to address the water crisis in the region. The two sides have failed to reach an agreement on water allocation and management, leading to tension and mistrust. In conclusion, the drying up of the Jordan River is a cause for concern, not only from an environmental perspective, but also from a religious and political standpoint. The river has been an important symbol of hope and spiritual renewal for centuries, and its decline raises questions about its religious significance. The ongoing conflict in the region has further complicated the situation, and it is essential for the countries involved to come together to find a sustainable solution that preserves the Jordan River for future generations. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about the drying up of the Jordan River? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here that you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one. Guys in the next one.